my opinion. California roll is one of the healthier rolls that you can get. So, California roll has the rice, it has a seaweed, and it has avocado, a little bit of crab, and cucumber. It's so good. I wanted to get a ton of sushi. I wanted to so bad. Normally I get two sushi rolls and they're usually like the bigger rolls. They come with a lot more than this. And one of them is always fried. Um, I usually ask for miso soup, which is delicious. And I always get an appetizer. But I try to change it up because I'm trying not to binge and things like that. So I am a little nervous. Um, I hope that I like them. So I originally wanted the roasted wings, but you guys, they didn't have them. I was going to do a couple of these types, but mainly roasted. And... Unfortunately, oh wow, okay, that's a hill. All right, so I wanted to get, I should have put a disclaimer, I forgot. I was gonna say, Disclaimer for those who don't like messy eating, especially from a person my size. <laughs> Should have said that, but um, I was gonna get like a side salad so I can get full off of that. I don't have salads there. The only healthy thing was the roasted wings and that's what I was looking forward to but they didn't have them you think that they'd have maybe vegetables they do they have green beans I think but they're made in like butter and everything else so I think I'm done eating I had three of these you know moderation you guys this is definitely a lot left over I got a lot, so it was pleasing to look at. If I would have just got three wings and I was like, okay, let's eat together, it just wouldn't have looked as pleasing as so many. Plus I'll have leftovers like, see, this is leftovers isn't that great, but I'll, I might eat a couple later. I don't know, honestly. Um, yeah, that was good. I'm actually full. Um, drinking water while you eat, hands down helps it keeps you full or drink the water prior to eating i know i could be wrong and misinformed so if i am i'm sorry but i've had a lot of people who have had weight loss surgery and when you have weight loss surgery they tell you not to eat or drink while you're eat or drink what am i saying <laughs> they tell you not to drink while you're eating and don't drink like 30 minutes prior to eating or 30 minutes after eating. I can't do that. I need liquid, especially water, because it does make me fuller. And plus like, hi, I get thirsty while I'm eating. So I don't know. Is that like real? Because I do have a few friends who said it is real and they have gotten weight loss surgery. Maybe it just depends on the doctor or the procedure or something. Oh. Just my humble opinion. This is good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I am like a slushy freak. Little tidbit. I justify eating these. Eating. 
because I'm eating these. Drinking these because they're so low in calorie. This is like 160 calories. But then when you look at the carbs, it's like, oh. <laughs> I don't care about carbs though. I lose weight eating them. They don't bother me at all. I love it. Taco Bell's supposed to be the healthier fast food place. I don't think so. I consider Chick-fil-A is pretty good at being healthy because they have some really good salads and the grilled nuggets. Who has grilled nuggets? Chick-fil-A. Um, my favorite part of this is the lettuce and tomato and cheese. So I'm just going to eat lettuce and tomato and cheese. Really, babe? Mm -hmm. You don't like the meat? Wait, you're about to eat lettuce, tomato, and cheese with nothing on it? With lettuce and tomato and cheese on it. <laughs> um, Panera bread, in my opinion, is healthy too. We don't have one though. They're okay. like, it's like an hour and a half away. They're okay. Yeah, they're all right. Mm -mm. Really, as of lately. I'm trying really hard to like eat more just like lean meats, veggies. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to give you guys a good view. Because realistically, those things are way better for me than the things I ate to get this size. So, one thing you'll learn about me, I don't like fat. So, on meat, that is a no-go. Nope. My favorite way to have rotisserie chicken, besides this way, a little idea, I'm sure everyone's done this before, but um, putting it in the oven, obviously, but have it in like this contraption where you put um, potatoes, onion, carrots, and you cook it in the oven. It's one of my most favorites. Oh my God. And it's not like unhealthy, you know? I just need to start eating better. I know the skin is like not that healthy, but that's okay. I feel like when I'm eating this, like I'm doing something like unhealthy, but it's not. I love dry chicken. The more it's cooked, the better. I know when I watch mukbangs, I get super hungry while I'm eating it. And in the past, I tried to stop watching them because sometimes like watching a move on would make me like binge or overeat or whatever. But I'm trying to learn how to turn it into something positive instead of negative. I'm trying to watch them eat instead of me eating. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I don't ever want to stop watching mukbangs. I think it's mainly because like I think about Star Brady who used to be Divine Munchies. I adore her. B loves life. Um, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. Nikocado Avocado. Like, there are people who only do mukbangs that I thoroughly enjoy watching. And it's like, I don't ever want to lose them in that sense. I don't ever want to not watch their videos. Um, for me, the hardest the hardest mukbanger to watch is B Love's Life because her seafood boils with her seafood sauce. That's the most jealous I've ever been in my hey life. Hey guys, okay, so we have another mukbang. We are going to eat shrimp with cocktail sauce. <gasps> okay, so I'm really excited. Here we go. I haven't had this in, um, it's been a hot minute.
It's good. Okay. So, we're just going to add the tails over there. It's actually really good. Nice and cold. Mm. Yum. And we have water. Isn't this a cool bottle? This is the um, Kroger brand, I think. Yeah. And their plastic looks kind of cool, so. The sauce is so good. Okay. So the topic for today <laughs> is mukbangs and weight loss. This is like such a big thing. Because Obese to Beast made another video, um, kind of talking about mukbangs, like obese people doing mukbangs, and like mixing weight loss with mukbangs. So I personally messaged him um, because we have talked in private before. Um. Like, cause he made two videos about me and then a video about mukbangs. Before the mukbang video, I um, messaged him. This was before the mukbang video. So before he started talking about mukbangs, I messaged him and just been like, I just asked him like, why couldn't you tell me like in a message that you, everything you said in the video, why couldn't you tell me? So then, um, he explained that like mukbangs shouldn't be done by people on a weight loss journey. <sighs> because um, that's the only things that the viewers see. That makes sense and all, but my whole thing is like, this is, first of all, this is my life. I'm an adult. I can choose what I want to do versus what I don't want to do. And like another big thing is like, just because you are seeing one meal out of the, what, 15 I have in a week, how... Is that going to decipher everything? Do you get what I'm saying? And there are skinny mukbangers out there. They don't gain they don't gain weight at all. Um, there have been mukbangers out there who have lost weight. It is a thing. It's not something that's crazy. It's easy to gain weight doing it, obviously. But it's also not that hard to lose weight while doing it. So... Um, I know you guys know Foodie Beauty, Foodie Booty, Food, Food, whatever, it's hard to pronounce, Chantel. And she's kind of where I'm at right now, where it's just like, we're over, I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I have talked to her privately, and I do watch her videos. We're kind of just over people only supporting us when we're doing what they want us to do. That's just not how life works. You either like us or you don't, or you support us or you don't. Um, so, like, I'm trying to find it. It's on the bottom of this. The calories and the nutrition is on the bottom of this. And she's doing exactly what I'm doing. Where if we film a mukbang, 
obviously it's very possible to stay under our allotted calories for the day. So this, which is 90 calories per serving, and there's 4.5 servings in this whole thing. So 90 times 4.5, we can do the math later, but it's not that many calories. And that includes the good old cocktail sauce. And that's even if I finish the whole thing. So it's like not that difficult. Um, like my sausage fest video, delicious, delicious, <laughs> delicious. And that fit in my calories. And I was able to stay under my calories and the next day I was down about, I think it was like 2.6 pounds. So it's whatever, honestly, like people will judge and they'll continue to judge because they want something to judge you on. It's that simple. Like no matter what I do, no matter what Chantel does, we're going to get hate for it unless we are doing exactly what you told us to do. But you aren't our moms, you aren't our bosses, you aren't our dads, you aren't our doctors. <laughs> I just think the fact that people can hate on us so hardcore and judge us so hard over the food we put in our mouth is kind of crazy. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I've actually been walking more, moving more, my breathing's been better, so I feel like I'm actually doing a lot better. Um, I just feel sad when people think I'm gonna be bed bound because it's never happened, it's not gonna happen. Next comment from Tessa, I need to eat to survive when in reality you need to stop eating to survive. Not quite, honey. <laughs> you need to eat to survive. If I totally completely stopped eating, yeah, I'd lose weight. I could probably survive two weeks, but then I'd die. <laughs> so this is actually leftovers from last night. Becky and I went to a restaurant we've never went to. It was called BJ. This was what I got last night. And it was a pretty big portion. As you can tell, this is leftovers. What I've been trying to do, if I go out to eat, um, ordering what I want, but not eating the whole thing. Normally I would. By doing this, it makes it to where I don't eat as much. And it's been working for me. So yeah, just, if you're the type of person who is worrying about their weight, hold on. <laughs> Water is to die for, <laughs> literally. If you're worrying about your weight but you don't count calories, Split your food in half. It's a very common trick. Like, a lot of people tell me to see a nutritionist. I feel like I got sauce splattered on my cheek. Um, a lot of people tell me to see a nutritionist and I actually saw one when I was 16 and I only went to three meetings. I remember this vividly. And one of the things that she did tell me, <laughs> two little weird mindful tricks was cut all your food in half and eat on a blue plate. I'm like, what? I guess supposedly the color blue makes you eat less. Who knows? But, um, I mean, it's been working for me. I'm not gaining any weight. And, like, there's been a few times where I posted on Snapchat where I'm just like, hey, I'm out to eat. Or just like showing me out to eat and people are freaking out. A little baby changes. <laughs> little baby steps. Um actually had a dietitian 
reach out to me. It was the other day and she wants to help me. And I think that's amazing. So, yay. This actually came with four meatballs, but I ate three of them last night. <laughs> so, anywho. I am so thirsty when I eat, but if I'm not eating, I don't really drink anything. You guys, it's bad. I don't drink a lot of liquid in a day, and I have talked about this countless times. I'm just, like, never thirsty. Like, ever. And... That's one of the biggest symptoms for someone who's diabetic to be always thirsty. Everyone always thinks I have diabetes because a few reasons. My knuckles and my weight. And the way that I eat. Well. Take away all of that, and I'm surprised that I don't have diabetes because it runs in the family really bad. I don't think I have ever seen someone have such bad diabetes than my dad. Um, growing up, he was in a diabetic coma at one point, um, I've always seen him take shots of insulin in his stomach. I saw at a young age, he has this really bad ulcer on the bottom of his foot and he still has it and it's only gotten worse. He has been continuously hospitalized. They want to amputate his foot and they've wanted to amputate his foot for over a decade and way over a decade and he just won't get it done. So, excuse me, sorry, I burped. <laughs> I have never seen someone with so many health issues regarding diabetes. And I know that needs to like put more fear into me, like seeing what my dad's gone through slash is going through with it because it's bad. And I get that and I'm not even a pre-diabetic, which still to this day shocks me. I am beyond grateful, but I'm scared that one day I'm going to be diagnosed with diabetes. And that is scary. But what I think is beautiful about the body is that we, as human beings, can help prevent certain things from happening from you to you. Sorry. I know there's a lot of things that you can't prevent, which that's heartbreaking all in itself, but there is a large quantity of things that like, if you change the way you eat, it could drastically fix something. I know a lot of people who do have diabetes and they've changed the way they ate and they completely went away. Um, also weight loss helps a lot because I can tell you guys firsthand that I've never had like super high blood pressure. It's always been like right at that teetering point where some doctors think I shouldn't take medicine and some doctors don't think I should. But ever since I've lost 75 pounds, I don't have high blood pressure like at all. It's not even at that teetering point. Um, it's usually always normal for the most part. And it's just like, you know, weight loss helps with a lot of things and changing the way you eat. I'm saying that as I have tons of rice in front of me, you know, this part isn't that bad for you, but, um, I try not to have steak a lot. I'm I'm more of a lean meat type of gal, but you know, a lot of people like to, you know, make fun of me and say she has the beatus and just, it's really just like cruel because you don't know what I've seen with my father and the things that he has gone through and still goes through like literally to this day. The last time I actually talked to him, he was in the hospital because of his diabetes.